just a preview for what you can eventually do. So I have two radios, no connection, and we have this plane here. And when I you can see this one moves the thing because it's connected with the crossfire and the multi protocol is connected to this guy. So we have two radios, daisy, daisy chain pretty much. And when I flip the switch, I can also move the sticks. Yep. Today I want to show you guys how to use um, an old FlySky uh, transmitter as a student radio um, to the some other radio that's running OpenTX. In this case, I'm using the TX16S. And what requires this to work is that this radio has an internal uh, multi-protocol um, transmitter. And I'm also using the Crossfire um, external uh, transmitter to connect to the plane. So my current setup, uh, my original setup was that I was only using the Crossfire um, transmitter to connect to the plane. I have a little nano receiver over here. Um, and as you can see right now, as I move, it works. You know, I'm getting telemetry back. I have manual and whatever. This is actually connecting to the multi-protocol radio in here, but it's acting like a receiver. So as far as this radio knows, it's just connecting to a receiver. The only little quirk is we're actually not getting any voltage information back. So usually you'll see RX and then have the battery symbol next to it. Um, it doesn't have that, but it is actually bound even right now. So in order to set this up, basically the first thing we're gonna do is go into your model settings. So I'm gonna click model and on the model setup, Oh, I forgot to mention this from before, but the first thing you want to set is that um, you want to turn the trainer mode. This is under model setup. Um, set it to master multi or multi. And when I was doing it with the headphone jack, the little 3.5 millimeter wired connection, which also works pretty well, I might just had it set to this. But right now I want to use this to indicate that we want to use the multi protocol. Here you can see I have, I had this on from before, the external RF, and that's the crossfire module in the back. But over here to internal RF, I used to have this off. But all you need to do is turn this on and onto multi. Whoops, I think I just reset it. Well, perfect, I can show you how to bind it again. So, and I want to set this RF protocol to, so you can see this FlySky, FlySky 2A, which I thought is the thing that I have, but we actually need to have it set as this. So this is FlySky 2A um, RX. So it's gonna act like a receiver. Okay, just recovered it. Um, but yeah, I wanna set it to that. Um, and then this is just small tie. And I guess specifics with this, this is an FSI6, as you can see, but I have the, um, I think I have the FSIX or something, the 10 channel uh, firmware flash onto it, but it should work for either. The only difference is that down here, I thought you had to have this channel range match um, the number of channels it's outputting. So I had it set to 10, since this is outputting 10 channels, um, supposedly, but it's actually only reading in four, I think, for trainer mode. So I think it's irrelevant. Um, and basically here on the receiver mode, um, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to set it to zero. Um, I would just do that just to be safe. It seems to always work like that. And then once you hit bind, it'll start up here. It'll say binding. Um, I can actually do it right now if you rewind. So say, okay, so right now it's, it's rebinding. So you can see here it's, it's beeping to indicate that it's binding. And over here I turn off and then I just do the usual binding. So I can hold the bind button and then. Turn it on and you can see it starts, it said really quickly RX binding okay. So it's actually bound even though that little battery indicator is not there. And then I heard a little notification here that said it's recovered. Um, and now that's, like, that's basically all you need to do to actually connect the radio over here. And now the only thing left to do is I need to go into um, special functions. So I added a special function here. Um, I'll show you this. So I had the SH switch which is this guy here, the momentary switch, set to up so that whenever I hit it up, it's um, it's activating this. And I have the function set to trainer. Um, I'm not sure what the value thing is. Hmm. Yeah. But yeah, I just have that on default. And then make sure you check enable. So I'm gonna go back. Yep, so now when I flip it, it turns this on and basically puts me into trainer mode. I'll try one more time. So I'll click the this guy. You can see it works here, even the rudder, throttle, all work and show over here. Um, yeah, that's it. So I just want to make this quick video to give an overview. I hope that's clear enough. Um, yeah, this plane doesn't actually use this battery. I'm just using it for testing because I forgot to bring my own XT, uh, what's it called? XT30 batteries. 
I'm in a random classroom right now. Um, yeah. So, yeah, more to come on this also. Um, I have the... Right now, I don't have it, but I got a um, Crossfire... Uh, what's it called? Not a Crossfire. A TBS uh, Unify. One of those pro high-voltage ones that I can put in the back here and give it some FPV video. Um, yep. So, yeah, thanks for watching.